hi everyone welcome to another video today we have a question before us and the question is if a b c is equal to 10,395 and we are given that a all over 5 is equals to b all over 7 is equals to c all over 11 then what there will be the possible values for a b c okay so if you're new here this is online mass tv where we learn mathematics all the time so without much waste of time let's go into to this math class so here we check our solution now if we look at the fraction given here we have a all over five equal to b all over seven equal to c all over 11. so it means the quantity here is equivalent to the quantity here and it's equivalent to the quantity here so how do we handle this so we just have to equate either the first quantity or the second to a constant k so from here it means that our a all over five is equal to a constant k so we did it also means that our b all over several will be equal to this same constant k and also our c all over 11 is equal to k also right good so if we have this then this is all over one invisible one this also all over invisible one so we can make a the subject of the formula here make b the subject of the formula and make c the subject of the formula so let's go ahead and do that so from here it also implies that r a is equals to 5k okay and b is equal to 7k and c is equal to 11k right this is this is right good so if we have all this we should put this in mind that we are giving that this a times b times c is equals to this right so from here let's multiply the whole of these terms together so if we multiply the whole of this so we will not say that your a times b times c will now be equal to let's bring this quantity here so we have 5k times 7k times 11k right any confusion no so if we multiply all this together this will in turn give us here 385k to the power of 3 yeah so we are not having our a b c equal to this but recall we are giving a b c from the question here from the beginning okay so let's go and substitute into this so this now implies first that our a times b times c is equal to 385 k to the power of 3 then we now have this to be 10,395 is equals to 3 a 85 k to the power of 3. Yeah, we want to get the value k. That's what we're trying to fight for here. Yeah. So with this, we divide through by your 385. So if we divide through by 385, we must divide this side by 385 or so. So this, this leaves the system, right? So we now have this here, 3, 8, 5 here, we give us 1. And 3, 8, 5 here, we give us 27. Okay, so we now have our k to the power of 3 is equal to 27. So since we're looking for k, we take the cube root of both sides. So if we take the cube root of x, then we equally take the cube root of 27 okay so this goes with this so we are now left with k is equal to our 3 so if we solve our k to be 3 then let's go ahead and look for our a b and c now if we look at this look at this expression we have here so we now have this to be this now implies that our a is equal to 5 k so wherever we see k, let's multiply by 3. So if we put in 3 there, this will now give us 5 times 3, which is equal to your 15. So therefore, Ra 
is equal to 15. We've gotten the first value for the first constant, which is 15. Then we do same for B. So B is equal to your uh, 7K, which is equal to 7 times 3. And 7 times 3 will give us 21. Okay. So from here, when I say, therefore, RB is equal to 21. Again, we've gotten value for the second quantity. Then we we'll go for the third one, which is RC. We know that RC is equal to 11 times K, which is equal to 11 times 3. This will give us 33. So therefore, our um, C is equal to 33. So from here, we'll be able to solve for the three quantity A, B, C. So we can now say, therefore, our A, comma, B, comma, C is equal to, we have 15, comma, 21, comma, 33. Okay, so these are the possible values for our A, B, C that when you put them into this expression here, it will satisfy this equation or this algorithm. Okay, you can go ahead and put the value of A here. If you use this to divide this, it will give you 3. And you put the value of B here using to divide, it will give you 3. Put C here using to divide that, it will also give you 3 or true 2. To tell you that the answer satisfy our expression. Okay, so if you have a better way of solving this, you can equally drop it in the comment section. Okay, so thanks for always be there. This is all I have for you for today. Bye for now.